Hello. Um, I'm still back um, working on the Volkswagen Polo um, 6R 1.2 TDI. And uh, I think, um, no, I'm actually sure the pump is broken. So I ordered this new one. This is how, how it looks. And um, <coughs> let me show you the rest. Here's the pump disassembled. Here is the 6R. Um, in case you wondered, this is the um, the number CFW, and uh, the pump is taken out. It was one multi spline. Six, I believe, and uh, two thirteen mils down there. And uh, the trick to get off uh, the pulley is to loosen up all these all these three bolts and hammer on the bolt, and then uh, the pump will go back and the pulley stays here if it's stuck. So <coughs> basically, disconnect uh, all the holes. The uh, return line, the high pressure line, which will be about here, going all the way over here, and uh, two lines from the filter uh, to the pump. So basically, I already di diagnosed uh, this. The this fuel this fuel filter is getting uh, is actually sending. Uh, fuel to the high pressure pump to the high pressure pump, but from the high pressure pump there was nothing coming towards the engine I've cranked it for a very long time, which is actually not good cranking it while there is no fuel inside or um, yeah, so You don't even have to remove the auxiliary belt just um, block um, your camshaft Loosen up these three bolts, and uh, you should have some space to take off the the belt. I also took off this this one here, 13 mil, <coughs> and uh, also another 13 mil for the tensioner. So um, um, not some time ago, I think like two or one month, I replaced the um, one moment. I replaced this um, fuel pump unit in the in the tank, the sender. I have replaced this uh, fuel filter, the pre-filter, which is uh, under the car, very easy to access. It requires one uh, screwdriver and uh, disconnect two hoses, this and this, and uh, replace it because a lot of people forget to play, uh, replace these because they think they only have that one. So yeah, I replaced this one and I have replaced this sensor. Um, the first sensor I tried to replace was a some weird, weird brand, which didn't work. I got a permanent um, error. And then I got this uh, fee, fee, buy, fee buy one and it uh, it worked. It was good, no error on that. But still the low pressure, low real pressure error, I will show you. So back at the computer, it's a Polo from 2011 with 285,000 kilometers on it. And I had these two, these uh, two errors. And this one was coming back, P0087. And this one I fixed, it was the EGR valve, it was stuck and I replaced that. But this one comes back. After a little uh, while of driving, uh, your performance goes away and starts uh, stuttering, doesn't uh, go very well, and that's the fault that's coming back. And the only, um, the only thing I haven't replaced uh, on the fuel system are the injectors, the rail and the fuel pump. But the fuel pump is not delivering, so 
here's the fuel pump taken apart. So the axle goes out. This shim is on the axle like this and it had some weird marks on it as you can see. It hasn't, uh, especially on this side, it shouldn't be like this. That means usually there is some kind of bearing what is not good. So um, inside here there is some sort of bearing and it's cracked. As you, maybe it's a little hard to see, let me check if I can zoom in. You see that? That's not, not supposed to be like that. So it's not building up pressure at all. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a need for a replacement. On here, there is nothing to see really, only that if you put it inside, there's a little shaft play on it. And uh, that's it for the video. I will uh, give an update after replacing the pump. And uh, I'll show you what it does. Thank you.